Hello internet, so welcome back to another Mesh Mixer quick tip video. So let's say you've downloaded this helmet off the internet and you want to use it in a um, another Mesh Mix. So let's say you want to cut the head off a model and use this as the head. Now you're going to have problems because this um, model was designed for like a cosplay. So inside the helmet we have obviously the inner wall of the mesh which is still kind of the outside wall of the mesh for example so what i mean is um this bit inside um, we can't just make the item solid because technically the inner part of this mesh is inside the walls of this helmet if that makes sense so um, for example i want to use this helmet and i want to make it solid so that when i 3d print it that's not hollow so to do this or the way I do this is what I like to do is I need to basically delete the inside surface of this helmet and that way when we go to fill the item it will fill across here and also around the visor so now this item or this helmet is actually two pieces so first off we want to go ahead and hide the visor just to get that out of the way and then this is the bit of a long way of doing it what I do is I will go inside the helmet, so inside here, I'll click W just to get the um, the actual triangle with wireframe to appear, and then, I, right, there we go. So what we need to do is we need to make a barrier, for example, between the inner and the outer wall. So I'll put my brush down to pretty much zero size. And then all I want to do is go around this first rim of the helmet. So I'll speed this up, but we want to select. It doesn't matter how neat it is, as long as you're kind of defining a barrier between where we want the outside mesh and the inside mesh to end. So I'll skip through this. I'll just go around, highlight all this. So for what, what I mean is if, for example, if I take this inside part of the helmet and click delete, as we see, we're sort of delete in and this blue line becomes our new barrier for the, for the mesh so let me go ahead and delete this whole circle and uh, I'll be back in a second Okay, so it's hard to see from here, but now we've sort of deleted the first um, layer around the rim of the helmet, what we've done is we've kind of made a border between the inner and outer piece of the, the what we want to be the mesh. Now, this helmet actually has two pieces. So we have the visor and, um, you know, the visor is separate. So because that is still um, part of the... Helmet, we will have to sh quickly um, make almost like a defining barrier between the sort of visor opening and the inside of the helmet. And again, I'll speed up this. So we just want to go around the um, around the visor. So select all this, and we basically just want to delete around like so. So again, just do this around the entire perimeter of the um, the visor, and uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I feel like we've done it correctly now. So as you can see, we've got like a border between the visor or any opening, I guess, in the helmet. So if we've done this correctly, now when we double click the inside of the helmet, we've only selected the inside surface, which is now completely separate from the outside surface because we've kind of cut off any border between the two. Does that make sense? So now if we delete it, we can now see that the inside of our mesh is fully um, cut out, if that makes sense. So like the inner wall of the helmet, because it being a cosplay helmet, is now completely gone. Um, so if we were to bring back our visor, we can hide the helmet, go back to the visor, 
Uh, we now need to do, quickly do the same to the visor. So what we need to do is just delete. So we select and we just want to trace around the outside of the visor. Again, try and be as neat as possible because it will affect the final result. And um, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so once we've selected the perimeter of the inside of the visor, double click. So let's double click the um, remaining face and then we can delete it. So let's go, oh, I missed a little bit there. So delete that one. Okay, and then we can bring our helmet back in. Come out a wireframe. As we can see, we kind of um, hollowed out our, um, our mesh. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bring this back. Um, let's go edit and take both of them. And I'm going to just sort of rotate it back around so we can see a little bit. And then what I want to do is I actually want to combine them. So I'm going to click combine. And now if we go to analyze and go inspect, we can see there's still some holes in the mesh. So for example, this big red one here, if we click that and repair this one at the bottom, we can see now it's completely closed to that face there. So um, at the top here again, if we just click repair all, So this is looking for holes in the mesh and to close off any any holes. Now it can affect the, you may need to adjust the quality a little bit like here, you might have to smooth that back over. But overall now there's no gaps in the model and we have a completely solid helmet. So if we go and edit, transform, bring this round a bit, export this now as a STL, let's call it helmet. Okay, so now we've opened it in Lychee. As we can see, if we go up the model, look, we can see it's a complete solid item. Um, the reason you may want to do this, obviously, if you've got um, a model that you want to sort of mix and match, say you want to take this helmet and pull it on a different uh, model and you cut the helmet off of the other one or the head off the other one. If you were to just plonk it on in its default form before, when you were to... Um, print the file it would be very thin the walls of it and you would have a big hollow um, interior so um, hopefully this video has helped um, click like or comment um, if you want to see some more mesh mixer videos